because Redbubble are going to take half of my almost half of my earnings for themselves I'm not making that much money but they are going to take a lot of money from each seller let's see what it uh, actually means I try to understand what are the fees before we start to dive in who is going to pay everything how do you know what is going to be on your store if you have Redbubble store or if you consider open Redbubble store afterwards after I will show you everything about Redbubble what I'm going to do what is Redbubble? It's a marketplace for print-on-demand products so you as a designer can upload images and you can put that on different products and if someone is buying your design on the product you get percentage of the sale 25% you can get 30% you can get 10% it's actually up to you the, the number is going to add to the price that the customer is going to buy you can decide how much you are going to earn per sale starting from like a week from now you're going to pay for each sale you make they're going to cut from your sales from your earnings what is going to be the, the fee you can see here they say let's say you earn 15 and a half dollars in a may then you will be charged six dollars it's almost a half from the the 15 dollar you got as an account fee okay so you're going to to pay only if you got sales if you're earning next month you're going to earn 87 dollars so then they're going to be charging you 31 dollars from the from the 87 plus what you earn in may okay so it's going to be um so it's going to be 65.35 so basically they are going to charge you each time you make sales you are not going to pay that until the time that you are going to pay by red bubble which is going to be 20 dollars what i'm not sure is if you got to 20 dollars and then they charge whatever they charge are you still going to get whatever left didn't say that and let's see the the fee table which is absolutely ridiculous so if you're going to uh, to get less than two dollars you're not going to pay anything any fee you're going to get from two dollars to 2.99 you're going to pay one dollar which is if you if you got two dollars it's going to be half of what you earn okay it's going to be 50 percent then if you got from 3 uh, to 3.99 it's going to be 1.45 cents also almost 50 percent if you got the three dollars etc you can see that basically you, it's not 50 percent but it's almost 50 percent of what you earn and the thing is the list is going on and on and until you get to 500 on 500 it's going to be a little bit less than 20% of what you earn doing all the list because most of the people are not even get two 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 dollars a month I'm not getting two dollars a month sometimes something between the 20% to 50% of what you earn already from your it's going to be from your earnings whatever uh, royalties you are going to put on your product it's going to dedicate it from that Riddle can do whatever they want because it's their platform and I understand why they want to take something because probably it's a way to get away people that are not doing things the right things for the bubble and i think they're going to clean red bubble red bubble from all the problem they already had with that punishment actually <laughs> and i also think that they are not earning enough money and this is why they are going to do that and i think most of the people are going to pay that fees so let's go to understand who is going to pay this fee because i'm going to pay this fee <laughs> i know and i will show you uh, in a minute how i know that there are going to be three tiers standard premium and poor and the ones that are going to pay the money are going to be the standard one okay so if you are premium or pro you are not going to pay anything from this list you already see the problem is they didn't say how you can get from standard to premium they didn't say it anywhere they have this list it's actually basically tons of nonsense that you are not going to, to get as a standard the only thing that you are going to is it really matter in this list is account fees not applied it's going to be applied for the standard it's something that I'm not sure why they did this list because it's basically what you need to get when you you get the free shop front and um, uh, the gl uh, global audience it's actually not true because sometimes they are they hide your store and they are not showing your stuff you can uh, control the 
pricing you can set the margin they say you can say what percent percentage of the sale you are going to get they say that you get customer service and actually i i wrote to customer service after banned my two stores that I, they didn't answer me anything who is going to be in each tier so the standard tier i think most of the people are going to be in standard tier Year. because most of the people are coming to Redbubble to earn money but they don't have audience because if they have audience why they should have Redbubble store because they can open their own store or they can have other other way that are better than Redbubble to uh, sell because Redbubble products are not the best if you are really care about the people that are going to buy from you and you know them and then you know you if you sell them something that is not in really high quality but really high price because the, the products on Redbubble are really high priced it's not going to do really good for your brand I will never use Redbubble in my storefront okay if I want to sell something I might do it myself like in my own website or or I will do that on different platforms that I can rely on them. Their, their products are really good in quality. Redbubble is not that. I wanted to, to check if it's going to be worth it. Maybe I will make a different video about if it's worth it or not. You don't have audience and you make really average products and even if they sell, so you are going to be on this tier. Even if you get to $500 a month, you are going to pay the fee. Anyway, so they say that you need to upload unique content and you need to generate sell, but you know, they're actually going to prefer the people that have, people that are going to be in this premium tier probably are going to be the people that have an uh, audience, okay? And that they are promote their store on, on YouTube or on Facebook or Insta Instagram, so they get the traffic from there. If you have audience and they're going to see that, then you are going to get no fees okay you are going to keep everything even if you're not earning that much okay so they didn't say anywhere how you move from tier to tier they basically want people that have brands to come to redbubble and sell there if i will have my own uh, audience i probably in i will have brand i'm not going to use redbubble as my main store to sell my stuff the tiers are not based on how much you earn for redbubble it's based on how much you promote Redbubble. When I think about that, the whole thing with Redbubble that I came from is because they have the marketplace and that I knew that people can get to my work just by searching. And if I need to do more stuff to make the sale, I'd rather do that for higher percentage or better products or whatever. I don't want to ruin my brand just because they want me to promote them they say here that you they are not going to give you any way to move from tier to tier i think what they did they put all the accounts on standard and then the war the some of the accounts that already featured or already liked or already had whatever like they knew that they, like they partnered with or whatever and they gave them the premium and the pro i don't think there is a way to go without the um, fees on Redbubble. So if you're going to, you think about starting on Redbubble, take that into consideration. If we think about other marketplaces like eBay and Etsy and Amazon, they also charge you a fee each time you make a sale. So it's it's basically a thing that you can, I can understand why, but they are going to take 50% of your earnings, which this is not something I think I saw in any marketplace. Because I think on, eBay and Amazon and Etsy, I think most of the fees are less than 10%, which is, which is okay because they need to run the business and they need to pay for hosting and everything. And it's really, really expensive to pay for hosting. I understand why they want to take the fee, but why so much? They didn't say anywhere how much you need to earn so you get from tier to tier creating base trend or, or themes your customer is searching for, your customer is searching for. So basically, if you can see that again and again, they want brands on their platforms. And if you are not brands that they can recognize, they are not going to give you, uh, to let you out of the standard and uh, out of the fees. You need to increase the commercial success basically sell more uh, driving direct high quality traffic to Redbubble stores which this I think is what hiding between beneath all of this if you have followers on any platform and you are going to sell your stuff on this platform 
they are going to move you from uh, the standard tier to the pro and premium say uploading design showcase your unique creative skills if you have unique style you're going to use ai for for your designs like mid journey or stable diffusion or whatever they say that it's not unique uh, creative skills okay this is what i think is behind this sentence they want people to create art and not create AI art, <laughs> uploading your best work with attention to image resolution and product formatting. They want to get into my portfolio. You can see I have different stuff here. And let's say I go to this one. Uh, when I go get here to edit that, I made that as a sticker pack, okay? So people can buy it and use that for scrap uh, booking or um, whatever they want. But basically what they say, they want you to create for each product the specific thing that okay so after i upload that i can put that on on each of the products uh, in, in uh, such a way that uh, people can get the product in the right size and you know it's not it's not cropping or you can see here i can have um, i choose to have it as a offset grid or the regular grid it's duplicated the, the design on all over the the design and also i can i can scale the image back and forth when you put your product on the listing, you need to make sure that everything is in place. But what I think they want also, you upload one image for all of the products and then you can customize everything to match the, the thing. If this is a shirt, they don't like you to put something that is really a sticker pack, okay? They want you to get into the edit and change the image, okay? And you can change the image here. You can replace the image. You just go open your computer and upload different image. I didn't make different image for this. You can get the same title and the same description for the shirt, but you're going to have different images for different products. I usually make one image and I upload to everything. And if I want to change anything, I just create another listing. So what I understood from this, uh, where we, are, we were, image resolution and product formatting. Okay, so this is what I think they are meaning when they say that they want you to make the product formatting. So you are not going to put your image on all of the products and it's not going to match the product before we go to the next thing how you do you know which tier you are they actually want to clean red bubble from all the junk and the spammers and all the you know all the not so big good quality uh, products that they are on red bubble so i think they are going to check more accounts they are going to delete more accounts and ban more accounts and maybe they are going to also start to deleting products that are not good enough for them. If you are not brand, you are going to be on standard, but let's go to uh, your account and let's see where you can see that. To see what, what, what tier you are, you need to go to your dashboard and then account tiers and fees. And then here you can see that your account is on standard. They are not putting here the fees it took me time to find the page that the fees showed they're not respect us the sellers this is what i feel they're not respect us they don't tell us anything they want to do change because it's their platform and they probably need to get to raise more money because they have expenses and they are going to take the profit from the sellers just a brief what i earn the sales history of mine this last past year i earned 80 81 dollars and 27 cents november was my my profitable month and it was 29.15 cents this was the first time i earned more than 20 dollars in a month i have on my store if you get to the red bubble and start to try to find my store you're probably going not to find it the my name store is not going to show up in the search i have 3916 designs on my stores okay it's not product it's design so each design is on multiple products this is all what i made this 80 um 81 dollar for the past year is all what i earned okay i can show you the uh, lifetime but you can see it's not too much on september i got banned two of my stores and then I decided to stop uploading to Redbubble because I don't want to put all this work and just abandon my uh, my store with, with no reason. 
really nice store I have like this saying in different ways and different colors and most of the things I used from Canva I, I created everything on Canva it was before all this drama went on and they say that you can't use their stuff I'm not doing anything for my store now I just put it here and whatever like who whoever wants to buy something will buy and also for the fees i'm not going to promote my store to escape from the fees because i don't know how much i need to earn to escape from the fees and i don't want to waste my time and my energy uh, to promote something that i'm not sure that i'm going to reward for i'm going to leave my stores this is one of my stores i have three more i'm not going to do anything this is just give me another reason not to uh, put any effort on my store i also have them on different websites they sell on all over my websites all of their designs i made my best to make this store look look nice and to not infringe any copyrighted i created everything i don't know why they banned my stores two of those stores have names on it okay so it was uh, one of them i put names in hebrew and two days after i upload my first designs they just removed my they banned my account and it was pretty simple text of names people's names so i don't know why they put that down and the other one also was for names i, I had that store for almost eight months when they banned that and i this was the the only store i of i got over 20 dollars each month and also it was lots of work to i put a lot of work to make it happened if you use any automation to upload your products and you put your products also on redbubble do that You're like whatever they get, they get whatever they want i promote my stuff on pinterest and on facebook it didn't help because i don't have that much following i don't have brand my name is not a brand yet basically i'm never going to be on the premium tier 